It's the end of a sports franchise in Erie. The Erie Bayhawks will end operations. Last fall, the Erie Bayhawks knew that the other team were not going to renew its third year option as an affiliate largely because of the pandemic. Over the last few months, the franchise was in constant communication with the NBA on possibly teaming up with a new parent club. But it was not in the cards for the Erie Bayhawks, especially geographically. With all their options exhausted, it's an end of an era for the Bayhawks. With a huge thank you to the Erie region. Just what it brought to Erie, you know, the fun, the experiences, our fans, uh, the enjoyment that we've, we've created in Erie for the past 13 years, that will, that will be missed. And, uh, uh, but at the same time, we're grateful for the past 13 years. A lot of phone calls, a lot of texts, a lot of emails to a lot of people um, saying thank you. Uh, again, just expressing our appreciation. Uh, it's been a lot of fun just in the last 24 hours, um, talking a lot of good good memories with people, fond times that we had, thinking back to the early days of the D-League when we tried to get this started and, and nobody really knew what this product we would be about. Uh, again, we just we can't be grateful enough to everybody um, who helped make that happen. The Bayhawks announcement coming as a surprise to some downtown business owners, several saying they are disappointed to hear the news. Chelsea Swift has reaction from local restaurant owners. The Erie Bayhawks basketball team ceasing operations comes as a blow to the local tourism industry. We're obviously very disappointed that, that we're losing one of our attractions uh, that we have to promote Erie. Oliver says the Bayhawks season gave local fans and visitors something else to do in Erie, especially during the colder months. It provided them an additional entertainment opportunity when they were here, so it may not have been their primary reason for coming to Erie, but then having the opportunity to go and see professional basketball. Several downtown restaurant owners say they'll feel the loss as the Bayhawk season brought in a lot of business. We used to do um, great business. Families would come in before the games. People would come in after the games and have a drink. It was, uh, you know, it definitely is going to hurt. Honored isn't alone. Other restaurant owners say this news is hard to hear. It's just so disappointing for, for the city as a whole, but especially for downtown area. It's definitely going to hurt. Chelsea Swift, Jet 24 Action News.